If I showed you these shiny Pokemon and told you that one of these was actually fake, would you be able to find it? And what if I told you that if you pick the right one, you could win $1,000? Well, today that's pretty much exactly what's happening. I invited some of my close friends into another high stakes quiz on shiny Pokemon knowledge, with questions ranging from easy all the way to master level difficulty. Each question answered correctly will net you one point. The highest score at the end of the entire quiz wins $1,000. And I kind of want to see how well all of you guys watching at home do too, and if you could beat my friends in this quiz. All you have to do is find the fake shiny Pokemon. Oh, and shiny for alligator is blue, not green. Good luck. There better be a hype music intro to this video. Oh, I promise you, the hype intro just ended. Nice. Good. All right, you guys know the rules. Multiple choice, four answers, three of those being real shiny Pokemon, but only one fake shiny that you've got to find. We ready? Let's go, I'm baby. Ready. Let's start with the easy section. Guys, if we recall, you both missed the easiest question in the last quiz. After the first question of last video, I decided to go through the comments and, you know, I got, I got mentally scarred. I'm not going to let that happen to me ever again, I don't think. <laughs> you got capped on by the comments. Man, capped on bad. <laughs> we got dragged Voltar by them. Man. I will also cap on you guys in the comments if you miss one of these easy questions. <laughs> Remember, all different Pokemon. So we don't have a Pokemon name. We just have a question number and we're finding the fake. Yes. I'm ready. Show it to me. This is easy. Which one is the fake shiny? Is it? Yan Mega, Skuntank, Shuckle, or Porygon 2? This is easy. It is, is easy. It? I like the theme going on. These are the blue boys. Yeah. One of these okay. is likely not a blue boy. Oh, okay, so unfortunately, there's already one that's tripping me up. This I have an answer in my head, but I'm doubting it like 30%. Really? I was not expecting a 30% doubt here. I'm 100% confident. You can show me the answer. Jeez. She did say that a lot in the last quiz too, and she, she did, did she did win one thousand dollars. So that's not a good sign for Toes. Write your answers down, and when you're ready, share your screens, and we can see if anyone missed the first question again. I have an answer written down. I have lost confidence as I was writing it down. So I, I'm, <laughs> I'm really starting to doubt myself. The, the, the everyone watching right now is they're typing their comments. They're ready to flame. I know you. it's yeah. already game yeah. over. They are ready. Their fingers are warming up. Well, guys, whenever you're ready. Show me your screens, and let's see if you guys are getting flamed in the comments. Okay, um, this is bad news for one of you. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this is, it was between A or B for me, so... You guys chose different answers on the easiest question in the entire quiz. That's okay. That's okay. It happened last time, too. We're not perfect. Can you guys explain your answers? Yeah, well, shiny skun tank is pink, like bright pink. Is it really pink? Yes, it's like a oh, bright fuchsia. No, man. <laughs> and, and this quiz already going down the drain, man. <laughs> and, and by the way, Mimic, the frostless yeah. that you drew. Yeah. Did you actually draw that? Yes, of course. That, that's so good. How? All right. Mimic thinks it is the stinker skun tank. Toast thinks it's A, the Yen Mega, and he's begging the fake shiny Pokemon in the first question of the thousand dollar quiz is. Gun tank. So, <laughs> yeah. So Mimic taking the lead. I'm glad at least one of you got the first question right this time. So, Toast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not looking good for you in the comments. <laughs> it's already over. It's not looking good for you. Yo, thoughts on turning off the comments on this video? <laughs> We're going to have to disable the comments <laughs> for this video. So Mimic takes the lead with question number one. There are ways to come back, and this quiz gets extremely hard, so Toast can easily make his ground up. It might just be... A little bit tougher now. Oh wait, Noki, you never mentioned it. Is anyone sponsoring the quiz this time? You know, I thought so, but the only thing I heard back from them was, you'll know if he decides to come help. Huh. Ah, there you are. Come with me. What? Welcome, Noki, to the world of the internet. What the, what, I'm, where is everyone? I have your IP address, Noki. You have, 
What did you just say? It's public. Look, here it is. O okay, don't, don't stop showing them. You're not using a VPN right now, are you? If you were using NordVPN to mask your IP address, I nor anyone else would have a clue who or where you were. You could browse this vast internet securely and worry-free. Okay, I, thank you for letting me know. I and that show you wanted to watch the other day, the one the streaming service didn't let you watch because of your location, if you had just used NordVPN, you could have connected anywhere around the world at any time to watch, but instead you decided to give up and just turn your Nintendo Switch off and on again like you always do, hunting for some different colored monster from a children's game. Whoa, 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 I did... Wait, you're, you're literally one of those. Oh, and I heard that if you use your link, you get a two-year plan with four extra months for free and a 30-day money-back guarantee. <sighs> Thanks, Porygon Z. Wait, are you the one that's paying for the prize pool in the quiz? Me? Oh, heavens no, I don't have any money. I'll just get my guys to talk to your guys and... We'll figure something out. Good luck on the quiz. My guys? Wait, Wait how do I get back? <clears throat> oh, that was weird. Um, question number two. We took four Pokemon with this one that you guys might be familiar with. Which one of these Tapus is not the real shiny? Yeah, I'm, I know. I know which one it is. Are you guys, are you guys familiar with? This is a pretty easy one. If you know your Tapus, this is pretty easy. I have an answer, I think. These are some fantastic shinies. One is a fantastic fake. How confident are you, 100%? Yes. 98. Well, you should be 100%. Easy breezy, let me see your answers. Okay, so you guys both agree. A, comeback season for Toes. <laughs> Pink hair for Mimic. Yep. I'm glad you guys agree because, yes, that Tapu Lele is clearly fake. It looks yeah. really cool though. It does. It does. Congrats. Free point for you guys. Mimic has two. Toast has one, one of my favorite shinies of all time. All right, final question in the easy section. Grab your points while you can, because it's getting harder after this, considerably. Which one of these is the fake shiny? Staraptor, Zigzagoon, Jigglypuff, or Dunsparce? We got some normal oh, guys here. Wow. Just some normal guys here today. How are we feeling? Wow. I think I know the answer, but this one is much harder. Still, yeah. still fairly easy if you know your stuff. But the question is, do you know your stuff? Let's just say I do 100% know the answer right now. I, I'm i so ready for this answer to be shown. I actually, I, I'm more than 100% sure right now. I'm not. It's a miracle that Toast knows <laughs> the answer for this sure. This going to be the only time this ever happens. All right, Toast is ready. Mimic, are you ready? Do you have an answer? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, when are you guys ready? Show me your screens. <laughs> Copier D. man. Double D. All right. You guys agree? With Tosa's confidence, that's probably a good feeling for Mimic. And yeah, it is. for good reason, because that Dunsparce yeah. was fake. It's pink? Yes. It's, it's yellow and pink. That is cute. Me and Dunsparce have some history, actually. I played. Well, congrats, you guys both got it right. So we're sitting at three to two. Mimic, the perfect record on the easy, which is easy to do, but um, <laughs> we're going to be getting mixed up here pretty soon because medium, hard, and master are going to be crazy. I am ready. Feeling a little, good. A little scared, but I am ready. All right, this is where stuff starts getting juiced. You're going to have a lot of 50-50s. You're going to have some weird shinies, some normal-looking fake shinies. Here we go. Question number four, first of the medium. Find the fake shiny. Go. Oh my gosh. Is it A, Minin, B, Pikachu, C, Plusel, or D, Dedenne? All shinies, one is fake. Hmm, I have an idea. This, this is probably one of the most medium questions ever. <laughs> okay, that's good, I guess. <laughs> well, unfortunately for you, I am for sure. I have my answer and I'm ready. Really? Okay. Well, yep. I haven't even written anything down yet. Okay, well, you did rush me, and I have an answer written down now. <laughs> Don't feel rushed. They're all little electric rats. Pikachu clones. I'm ready. All right. Let's see the screens. How right were you? Nice answer choice, Mimic. You're copying me again. <laughs> Double A's. So either you guys are winning or losing together. So <laughs> interesting. Um, um, Before I show you the answer, uh, Minin is blue uh, regularly. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure their shinies are just like a little bit darker. Just like we see in C. Uh I don't know what their shinies look like at all. So yeah, this is this is a classic medium, but thankfully you guys got it right. Oh my god. The real wow. shiny is a really cool like minty green. That's a cool what? color. What? I thought it was like navy. That's way cooler. Mimic, you're at four now. Toast is at three. Things are cruising right now. Everyone watching, I hope you're doing well. Moving on. Question number five. Which one is the fake? Is it Breloom, Lilligant, Maractus, or Delmise? Oh my gosh. These shinies are sick. Some wow. grassy guys. I do like my grass Pokemon. How well do you know your grass shinies? We got four right here, but it's actually three. Who is the imposter? Who is sus? I want to talk about them. I want to talk about us, like the po Pokemon themselves. But I don't want to give any hints. I know one for sure. Bet my life on it. <laughs> I oh God. It is. <laughs> bet your life. Okay. I have an answer. I think this one's right. But when I think of this Pokemon's normal shiny, I have no idea what to think of. All right. I have a guess. I'm really 50-50 on this. I have... Pokemon knowledge reasoning for this one, and I have Nokimon knowledge reasoning for this one. Therefore, I am now very confident in my answer. Mm, I like that play style. We gotta think out of the box a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what you guys have. Let me see when you're ready. Oh my god, man. The double A again. What's your thought process? A is just sus. Breloom is like sus? Weird. Really? Yeah. I don't, I would remember, I think I would remember that shiny being that color. Yeah, I pretty much agree with everything. Delmise was the one I would bet my life on. Lilligant, I know is right. Maractus, it looks weird, but I have this mental note in my head that Maractus shiny is pink. I think I'm in the same boat with Maractus. Like, yeah. I, I would not have thought that was a shiny, but seeing it, it just looks like, in my head, it looks right. Well, guys, I'm really proud of you. You did some good deducing because you're right. Everything you said was accurate, and this Let's shiny go. is pretty weird. What? It's an orangey gold looking shiny. If that guy was up on the list as orange, I think I would pick him as being fake. A was the correct answer. It is now five to four, Mimic leading. Going in to the third medium question, three out of four for mediums. This time, we've got a different style of question. For number six, which one is the fake? Oh my. Pelipper, Bagon, Zangus, or Baltoy, the green gang? Um, well, I don't know who Zangus is. Never seen that guy before. Really? Ever? <laughs> what, where, what it's, it's a Gen 3 like version specific Pokemon. Yeah, I've never seen him. Okay. That's unfortunate for you. But by the way, this is a Gen 3 question too. Probably my favorite Gen. I'm a big Emerald fan. I think I'm back at a 50-50, but rather than being more confident in one of them, I it's really just going to be a coin flip. Oh, so you got you to take advantage here. Yeah. I did play a little bit of Gen 3. I have an answer written down with some reasoning below it. Mimic, you got an answer? I do, yeah. Let's see what we got. Show your answers. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Interesting. So, Mimic picks Bagon B, saying, is he pink? Unsure. Yep. Toast, with the answer choice C, saying red to green. Yep. I actually scratched off B initially, because I, I don't know what a shiny looks like. It could be pink, but I don't think it is. Well, different answers. Something's gonna happen, but what is it gonna be? The correct answer, the real fake, is Zangoose. Yes! Oh! Okay, I had an itch that it was blue. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Wait, what does it mean, red to green? What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Wait, why did I write that down? I don't know what that means. All I wrote down- Doesn't was that mean red. that you just said that the green was correct? Yes. So did you choose the wrong answer accidentally, or the right answer accidentally? <laughs> I don't know what, why I wrote that. Okay. The real shiny is blue. I don't know <laughs> what came over me when I drew green, because that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is five to five now, I believe. Tie game with one more medium question left. What is the theme this time? I actually don't remember. <laughs> Let's find out. Find the fake shiny out of Cricketune, Heinko, Azrael, oh. and Arbok. Oh, oh my. The gold These goblins. Great. These are so cool. Just some gold guys. I think I'm just gonna go with my gut on this one. I'm just gonna write on my answer already. Oh my A God. risky move by Toast, but it could pay off. Risky, but I have, my history is strong with a couple of them and they're both pointing me in a certain direction. I know it, it came to me. Wow. Yep, 
I closed my one. eyes and I saw the right shiny. That's pretty impressive. Good luck to both of you. Let me see your screens. Who got the golden question? Nice choice, man. Double C. Nice choice. Interesting. The so mimic green. Yeah. You know, whenever I first saw this, I was thinking that letter C, I was thinking he was pink, but I'm pretty sure the older generation is pink. Um, and then I closed my eyes and I saw the tiny green. So I know that's correct. I don't think that's green. I'm almost positive. I'd be very surprised. Really? I was thinking it was pink. I was thinking Azuril was pink and then the bigger one was gold. No, the bigger one is pink, I think. Okay, well, interesting explanations on both ends, but you guys are right. Yes, I knew it! The real it shiny is, is green. green. Yes, so the reason why I chose this one for a medium is Azumarill is gold, but okay. Azuril and Meryl are green. Meryl. Wait, no one's pink? No one is pink. Oh my God. So I make oh, wow. two fake shinies that are pink and you guys pick those out. But if I would have made this one pink, you guys would have gotten it wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, you guys are doing good. You guys are doing good. Still tied. Six to six. Both of you have missed one question. This is pretty tight. This is, I think, closer than last so far. Like I said before, the hard and master section of this quiz get really tough. We now approach the hard section. It's going to get juicy. It's going to get hard, but it's going to be fun. Everyone watching, good luck. The first question of the hard category. Number eight, which one is the fake? Out of these starter Pokemon. Oh my God. Uh... Inteleon, Decidueye, Imbor, and Septile. All kind of funky shinies. Yeah. But one is oh, a little no. too funky. Wow, this is actually really hard. I don't know. I'm not confident on any of them, I don't think. But I think one of them looks more off than the others. I think I'm in the same boat. This one I feel like should be easy because I think I should know Inteleon, Decidueye, and Sceptile for sure. I yeah. don't at all. Yeah. Imbor would make sense for me not knowing. I don't know him that much, but I don't know any of these. <laughs> Remember, this is hard. We're moving into another category. So differences get slight. I don't know. I'm not confident in this one. I'm not either. This is a toss up. Toss up for both of you? Yeah. yeah. Starter Pokemon. So these, these are pretty popular. There are going to be people who definitely know this, but I do think that out of all the starters, this one's a little funky, like I said. We'll see. See how you do. Seems like it's a toss-up. I feel like you guys might get this one. Let's see what you got. Okay. Ooh, okay. okay. Different answers. Something ain't right with D, Mimic, you say. What ain't right with Sceptile? I I don't know. I, I know that he's normally green, and I, I just don't feel like he would be that shade of blue for his shiny, but I have no idea what color it would be. Toast? You said Decidueye. Why? Um, I, you know, this is the hard category, man. It's just in, it's in Arceus's hands right now. You just guessed. <laughs> I basically just guessed. I had an itch that Sceptile was actually right, just because that color looks familiar, but I don't know for 100%. So I could see us both taking the L on this one, Mimic. I can For see sure. it, yeah. Well, I will say, one of you is correct. Oh? And it is... Oh! Whoa! It is Decidueye. He's much more blue with red-orange accents rather than green and purple. I still think the fake looks more real than the real. It actually does. The, yeah, the, I, the, I think the real is a really good shiny. Like, I tried to make this fake look not as good, so it would seem real. <laughs> yeah, it does. Wait, I'm in the lead. Toast, yeah. you are now in the lead. Actually in the lead by one point. So I think you're at seven now, and Mimic is still at six. Is this the first time I've been in the lead in all of the Shiny Quiz history? I think it is. Enjoy it while you can. This is huge. Monumental moment. Moving on. Question number nine. What's the theme this time? Which is the fake? It's bugs, baby. Oh. Oh my god. Oh no. Hard question. Four bugs, four shinies. One fake. Oh no. Oh. I, I have a guess because I have one of these shinies in Sword and Shield, um, but I'm not sure. I also have a guess. And I I think I'm right, honestly. Like I'm, I'm like feeling kind of confident on this one in the hard category. I think I've seen this Pokemon shiny a, a decent amount and this one doesn't look right. I agree. I hope we're on the same page. You guys have answers? Yeah. I do have an answer written down, yeah. All right. Let's see it. 
Agree again, really? Okay. You guys are in sync today. I will be honest, Sinta Scorch does not look right. But yeah. I think I've seen a wreck when it's shiny a decent amount, and those purple legs don't look right. I have that shiny from the dens, and I'm pretty sure he's either green or blue. I, I can't remember which one, but that just doesn't look familiar. Honestly, I have no idea about B and D. I'm pretty sure B and D are right. Like, are there normal shinies? I think Sinta Scorch looks right. I don't know what else he would be. Well, congrats. You guys both guessed the same, and you both guessed incorrectly. <laughs> no! What the? <laughs> it is Sinta Scorch. I've Blue never seen that shiny. Blue backed Sinta Scorch. Arguably the weirdest looking combination of colors. I am so surprised. Yeah, so, the, so this fake is what I would imagine regular or shiny Sinta Scorch to look like, but it's, it is not at all what it looks like shiny. That's insane. Wow. Wow, so that means Arachnid was real. I'm yep, so Arachnid surprised. was real. You can go back and look. Purple Legs is right? Purple Legs is right. Oh, still in the lead. No advantage is taken. Moving on. Number 10, double digits. The theme for number 10 is dragons. Oh. Pseudo legendary shinies. Four dragons, one fake shiny. Wow. Is it Hydreigon, Dragonite, Noivern, or Como O? Oh no. I feel like Dragonite should be a given. Like, we should know it, and I don't. Oh, I do. What? <laughs> <laughs> Toast? Toast outed himself? How do you know Dragonite, and I don't? I don't know. After some thought, I have an answer that I want to go with. I know one of the shinies is right, so it's leaving it down between one out of three. If I'm being honest, I don't really have any reasoning for picking my answer. So is this a shot in the dark again, Toast? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Your shots in the dark have been working, so are they really shots in the dark if they've been working? I guess we'll find out this question. Mimic. Um, it's a guess. I'm probably about 40%. Really? Okay. A somber mood to show the answers on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see what you guys have. Oh, you picked D? Yeah. What were we thinking with D? Bro, D I'm, is definitely a normal shiny. I'm pretty sure the evolutions before D have the pink hats, but I thought I remembered oh. the full evolution being like brown and not cool. Oh no, you might be right. Toast, you picked A, you picked Hydreigon. What's your thought? It's pink? <laughs> I thought its face was pink, honestly. I think that looks like normal Hydreigon. Wait, okay, we already have our answers written so I can say this. Uh, an image just popped into my head of Hydreigon being purple and green. Is that the normal color or is that the shiny? I guess normal. we'll just find out. <laughs> the normal has a blue face. No! no! <laughs> you, yeah, it's purple and green, Mimic. Oh, How did you know it was purple and green? I didn't I know that. No, I was, I was sitting Toast, there looking at it. What? Oh. <laughs> Toast gets the point when Mimic calls out the correct shiny exactly. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate, but it is not unfortunate for Toast. He's two up after this question. Hydreigon was the fake. The real shiny was purple and green. The original. Again, looks really bright and cool now that we haven't seen it for a while. <laughs> Dang it, I should have thought about it more. Altos, good job. Two up. Thanks. Is it deserved? So. We'll have to <laughs> answer that. Okay. We'll have to let the comments decide if it's deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in to question number 11. The last of the hard category. The theme for this question is purple. Is it Hariyama, Minshao, oh. Alcremine, or Deliver? Which one's the fake? All vastly different Pokemon, but all share a nice little color palette. I really need to think about this one longer. I don't need to think about this one at all. I need to write down an answer and stick with it. Take your time. Okay, I know two of them are right. Okay, I had an answer. I wrote down an answer instantly when I saw them and I'm now gonna change it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> These are pretty vastly different Pokemon. A lot of different generations, but yeah. they're shinies, they bring them together. Okay, I, I just have to go with my gut. Going with your gut is usually a pretty good decision. However, Mimic, Feel free to take your time. You're playing for a pretty big pot. This is a pretty important thing. I'm just gonna sit here and look at you guys with, with these eyes. Okay, just give me a little bit longer. We don't have all day. Mimic, hurry up. Well, you told me I could take my time. <laughs> I'm ready. 65%. After all that time, it was 65% is all you could get? 70%, <laughs> okay. So that you're passing at least. <laughs> Toast, did you go with your gut or did you go with your changed gut? <laughs> I went with gut number two. Okay. Interesting biology there, but that's let's see how it went. What? Okay. Interesting. Let me give you my thought I need explanations. I'm gonna need explanations. So if you look at the bottom of my screen in the fine text, uh, I said don't be A. A is what I wrote down initially. 
that shiny looks too good for me not to remember. That's why I wrote it down initially. But I don't think Alchemy has pink stars. I'm pretty sure her stars are a different color. So I picked C instead of A, and I used my brain a little bit, and that might have been a mistake. Mimic, but I don't know. Oh, no. Bien Shao. B, what are your thoughts? Um, For some reason in my head, I'm thinking it's either red, blue, or green. So not a pink or purple. Imposter pink or purple, you think thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm pretty confident in Delibird. I'm also pretty confident in Hariyama. I actually love that guy. He is so large, and I just wish I could hug him. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty sure that's right. C, I did not even consider, but you you talking about the stars kind of, kind of weirded me out. I think it weirds you out for a good reason. Oh, no! Oh. The stars are yellow. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, gut number two. Stars are yellow, and the original, it's still yellow. And also, this is the original, and this, they're all still oh yellow. Oh, my gosh. And this one, too, but I couldn't fit it. So what you probably thought it was which is what I was trying to go for, was the ribbon and the heart, which are both purpley pink. Though there is a shiny alchemy that has that color, it's just not the stars. I'm really slacking. I need to pick it up. I know that got some of you guys watching. It definitely <laughs> got some of you guys. The lead gets bigger. Three point lead. So this is actually going to be a game that could be decided pretty soon. And we're just gonna be playing for ego at that point. My mental is going down the drain right now. Don't give up. It's not over. You still have a few questions to hold your own. But if you lose more of a lead in these next couple questions, it's bye bye $1,000 into the oh, pocket no. of Toast. No. <laughs> Who wants that? Nobody wants it in the comments. Where are the fans in the back? Come on. <laughs> master. The toughest of the bunch. Arguably harder than the last master quiz. Which was hard? And if you recall, the first question on the last master quiz was Frostless. There were four Frostless, I love her, and you guys got it right. And so I figured for this first question, we could do some stuff that you guys love. <gasps> oh. oh my God. Two of Mimic's favorite Pokemon. Two of Tosa's favorite Pokemon. One is not a real shiny. I already got an answer. You have an answer? My answer's already down. Okay, well that gives me a hint. No. And this is a reminder to everyone that made it this far and will continue to trek through the master category. This is the hardest difficulty. So the differences are going to be minute. You're going to have to be smart to pick up on these. Your thoughts, Mimic? I think I have an answer. Mimic you, Graplocked, Roserade, and Ribombi. Mimic you, obviously, one of Tosa's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> I love Mimic you. <laughs> Mimic you and Ribombi, some of Mimic's favorites. Graplocked, Roserade, some of Tosa's favorites. Which one is the fake? Will they choose correctly? Let's see your answers for the first master question. I messed up big time in the beginning. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I you really did. messed up in the beginning. I got so excited to see Roserade and it, my brain just turned off. That was that was hard. It was really hard. Obviously, Mimikyu, correct. I love that guy. Um, and then Graplocked looked fine. And then I was looking at Roserade also after Tosa's comments earlier. It made me look at her and her flower should be more pinkish and match her eyes. Are, are you sure? Okay, I was sure. <laughs> if I'm being I honest, so I, I didn't look at graph locking enough just because I saw the bright red and I just knew that that was it. That was my boy. Oh, uh, yeah, I was kidding. It is your boy. <laughs> oh, my God. The flower is more pink. It's okay. Roserade. He did throw away his advantage by immediately helping you. <laughs> Good job, guys. Everyone, could you tell the difference between the purple sus flower and the real pink flower? So in order for you to have a chance at winning, Mimic, right now you have to not only get all three of the final questions correct, but Toast has to miss all three too. So I'm going to spoil something. There is a bonus question in this quiz. And while Mimic does need to answer the next three correctly, this bonus, we're going to make it worth two points because it's extra hard. And you'll see why it's worth two points when we get to it. I think I'm down just to steamroll. I think hey. I'm down to get all the next ones right and get the bonus and win by like seven. Toast is sitting pretty for question number 13. Another master. What's the theme this time? Tiny little guys. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Is it Magnemite, Charger Bug, Talo, or Bonsly? Four shinies, one fake. 
Wow, these really amped up. Master level difficulty. Tiny, tiny little Timmies. I don't think there's much going on in my head right now. I'm, I'm pretty lost. <laughs> that means he's gonna get it right. <laughs> that's a, that's a good <laughs> sign for Toast. <laughs> Whenever there were like 50-50 guesses on like the previous questions, I like, I would have an itch more towards one side and I would pick it. I don't have any, there's no itch on me right now because I have no idea. I, uh, I have a guess, but I think it's just my mind playing tricks on me. This one is tough. I'm gonna be honest. This one is really tough. I would be surprised if a lot of people got this one right. It is master for a reason. Think outside the box with master level questions. I'm ready, not confident. I'm not confident at all. Who's more confident? <laughs> not me. I think, I think my confidence is only from me having a lead right now. I think if I was down, it would be game over. Yeah. My mental would be in the drain. That's me right now on the floor. Oh no, okay. Somber mood again, which means it's looking good for Toast. Let's see your answers whenever you're ready. Okay, different answers. Oh man. Different answers. Mimic says it's Pinker. Or D for Bonsly. This is this is where my mind could be playing tricks on me, but I, I thought Bonsly was like a fuchsia instead of a red. Toast picks B though. He does not think Charger Bug looks fine. What was your thought process? I really don't know. <laughs> okay. I, I, okay, honestly, I was really torn between Magnemite and Charger Bug because I think Magnemite is way too dripped out to be that shiny. That is, that that is pretty dripped out. That is a pretty yeah. dripped out shiny. But something about that bright colored Charger Bug just doesn't sit right. I think C and D are right. You think Bonsai is that red? I think the red, I honestly don't know if he's gold. I think the red looks familiar. This is a big Magnemite. question. This is a very big <laughs> question. A thousand dollar question, some might argue. Number 13, the master question with all the tiny little guys. The fake shiny is Vaughn's life. <gasps> no way. You got it completely, oh Mimic. Oh my god. I just kept looking at it, and I don't remember thinking of it as being like an orange red. I thought I remembered that fuchsia color. You're, oh, you're yeah. totally right. Congrats, because the tricky part, and what Toast probably got tricked up on, is the evolution has red leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. OK. And that exact I color. Hunted, I shiny hunted one of them, but I, I guess it was pseudo Wudo because I remember the red a lot. I do yeah. not remember that, that color, like pinkish purple. He has the sickly green and the red like bush leaves. Yeah. That one got me bad. That's a master question. Mimic did exactly what she needed to do, and it was it was good deduction. You guys have been pretty strong in some of the tricky questions, and Mimic needed that. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Ghost is now only two up with two questions left, plus the two point bonus. I feel like I should be more comfortable than I am, but I'm nervous, <laughs> especially with the bonus. Yep. I'm coming back. I just need to slow it down and I need to think a little more and I can get to it. Well, it's worked so far. The theme for number 14. We're bringing it back to a previous theme. We're getting a little buggy again. Oh. Heracross, Golisopod, Excelgore, and Cascoon. Three arguably really cool bug Pokemon and then Cascoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Ready. What? Huh? You're ready? Yeah. All right. Didn't you just say you need to take your time? Yeah, but I'm ready on this one. Um, okay. Confidence going through the roof, huh? This is either a really good sign for Toes or a bad sign. <laughs> I need to think for a second. How do you know this so fast? You're lying. You're bluffing. Okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> can explain once we show our answers. I don't have an answer yet. It's blank. People watching, do you relate to Mimic right now? Are you 100%? Are you confident? Or are you like Toast, where you have no idea and you're just watching because it's entertaining and you're never gonna guess any of these right anyway? Either way, thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'm overthinking this or not. I had a gut answer, but I, I don't know. I think I just wasted y'all's time. I'm gonna go back with the gut answer. Another potentially game-changing question. You guys ready to show? I'm so nervous, yeah. Yeah, this one's, this one's rough. Let's see your answers. What was tripping me up really bad is I thought Heracross still had yellow eyes, or like yellow fingers in a shiny. I didn't know. I, okay, so I was for sure that it was D. That was like what I initially locked in. But as I was sitting there, I was looking at Heracross. I feel like he's a different shade of pink. I so feel like he's darker. We were stuck on the same Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I chose D because in the no color video, I remember you searching around and then whenever you like showed the color, he was gold. But I don't remember if it was this one or the other one. In my most recent video where I shiny hunted it with no color, um, yeah. I found a Silcoon, not a Cascoon. I'm just gonna 
Erase. Um, <laughs> also. Oh no. Uh-uh. Oh no! Aerocross has gold eyes. No way. So... It, I could have... I was literally between A and D. Heracross does in fact have yellow eyes, normally and in the shiny. The white does look pretty cool, and it's hard to tell. That was a tough one. I don't blame you guys. No change in points. Toast is still two points ahead as of right now, with one question left plus a two-point bonus. Moving into the last question. Toast, if you get this last question correct and Mimic misses, you win and the bonus is purely for fun. If you guys tie again, the bonus will determine a tiebreaker or not. However, if Mimic wins the final question, the bonus could determine the entire game. This is so much closer than I initially felt. I'm so nervous. My heart is like pounding. Okay, final question. Number 15, the last of the master before the bonus. Now this theme is one of my favorites for shinies. And that is the black and white shinies. Ooh. Oh. It's a landit, sugma, dubwool, and cursola. Slugma, sorry. <clears throat> Which one is fake? One is fake. Last question and master. Be careful. Usually there's at least one that I have a good idea about. Either not it or like might be it. Completely lost on this one. Yeah, I need time. These are some obscure ones. This isn't your Rayquazas, your Charizards, your popular ones. People know those. This is the master tier. We're getting obscure, we're getting weird. But one of these, one of these doesn't belong. Okay, so as of right now, I have a guess as to which one I think it is. My gut is telling me, but I'm stuck between one other one. This one, this one's by far the most lost I've felt. I, I've gotten nowhere from thinking the past like two minutes. Two point difference. Think about it, be super careful, Mimic. You can come back, but it's not looking good. I'm ready. Um, scared. This is this is life or death. Oh, I would God. like at least one ounce of confidence in this final question, the game changer question, and I don't have any. Remember, Toast, you earned the comfort that you're in for this question, but still can't get it wrong because if Mimi gets it right, you're in some tough nuts. I'm basically just praying that we both get it wrong. I'm at about 50%. That, that's kind of high, honestly. Higher than I am, for sure. A 50-50 for the hardest question in the quiz, other than the bonus, is pretty good. I have an answer written down. Mimic, Toast has his answer down. You're 50%. You keeping an answer? Let's just run it. He says run it. Toast, are we running it? Run it. We're running it. Okay, what did you, hold on, hold on. So, Mimic says Salazzle is bad for A, and Toast says it's dub season for B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, I need some explanations. Mimic, but, uh, could you explain a bit? Um... Uh, yeah, so here's my thought process. I know that Salazzle is like a black and white grayscale type thing, and Salazzle's bad. Like, she's really... I I'm not gonna argue with that. I'm, I'm not gonna argue with that. I don't think Salandit is black and white. I'm pretty sure Salandit is different, and then it goes into the black and white Salazzle. Like, I'm pretty sure Salazzle is way cooler than Salandit. Toast went a completely different direction. Dub season Sugma. What's your explanation? You know, I my my head was floating in a void, and no idea what was going on. Saw Slugma, smiled a little bit, wrote him down. <laughs> is is there any reasoning behind the orange coloring for your B? Uh, his no. Okay, that's all I got. You do what you got to do. Now I have to ask before I show the answer. Did anyone have any thoughts on uh, the old dub wool over there? <laughs> you know, everything else looks a little more, more black and gray, and Devil doesn't really look black and gray, does, does it? I'm not going to let you change answers, but if you could, would you? Is... Yeah. No. I think I actually would. I'd, I wouldn't, because A is just really yanking my chain. Nothing about A makes me want to choose it. It, it looks like normal. No! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about A makes me want to choose it. It's A. This is the worst case scenario for Toast. I actually did not realize it was black and what white. What is that? It's Where did that orange come from? It's on the original. It's on the original too. I'll show Salazzle on the screen too for everyone watching, but it's actually a little more colorful than normal Salandit and Salazzle. It's not completely black and white, but I hope to make it a little tricky because it is a black and white shiny like overall, but it has a lot more color. And I also changed the eyes to match the orange, just in case anyone remembered there was orange on Salandit. I wanted to put it in the eyes to try to just distract ah, from nice. the fact that it's not actually all black and white. Mimic, uh, I'm impressed. And your reasoning, I can't say your reasoning made much sense, but I have to, I have to respect it. 
Toast, it yeah, is Jeff. not dove season. <laughs> Why is Slugma actually gray? Slugma is gray. That so I really wanted to put Slugma as one of the real shinies because gray is just such a strange, like old colored shiny, right? It doesn't make any sense. It's cool. It's actually really cool. All right, Toast, while it isn't dub season, you're still up one point, which means if you guys tie or you both get it right or wrong on this next question, you win. You're right. I need to have more confidence. Here we go. The bonus question. You all knew it was coming. Worth two points, which <laughs> this was not planned, but it actually will win Mimic the game because she is down one point. So if Mimic gets this correct and Toast misses, Mimic takes the second shiny quiz prize pool. But Toast is in a really, really good spot. A tie or a win for him will net him the $1,000 that he can spend however he wants. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Find the fake shiny Pokemon. Number 16, the bonus worth two points. Three real shinies, one fake. My Some heart. of the best shinies in the whole game all on your screen right now. I don't know. They all look normal. They all look right. <sighs> <laughs> all of you who got 15 out of 15 are now in pain at the bonus question with the worst shinies ever to grace the game of Pokemon. <laughs> I guess. All I have to do is pick the same one as you. Okay. And I win. Or you could just pick the right one. <laughs> I don't know which one's the right one. You have a good shot at this toast. You have a lot of ways out to win. There's only one real way you could mess up, and it's pick the wrong one and let Mimic outwit you on the bonus question. You're not going to let that happen, right? Come on. This this is your game to win. Surely you're not worried about losing $1,000, right? Just look deep into my eyes, and you will see the answer. <laughs> I think that just gave me an answer, honestly. You actually found I, the answer down there? I I have an answer down, and I'm happy I'm happy with this answer. Final answers for both of you. I'm ready. I'm locked in. One clean rack of one thousand dollaronis. When you're ready, the bonus question, the very last question of find the fake shiny Pokemon. Who's winning a thousand dollars? Let's see your answers. Show them. So here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Different answers. Different this is answers. Not what I wanted to see. Mimic, begging <laughs> for it to be card chomp. Toast, ice, ice baby for reg ice. Yeah. I need some. I need some explanations before we show the answer. I think the outer color on Garchomp looks right, but that inner orange just does not look right to me. I don't know if it's too bright. I don't know if it should be more dull, but something just does not look good. Wormadam, I was staring at for a while, but honestly, I don't even know enough about that shiny to figure it out. So I went back to Garchomp and that's where my heart is. You know, now that you mention it, Garchomp's chest is looking weird. It's like too bright. It's a little weird. Why'd you choose Regice? I thought his shiny was more like a deeper blue. I, I think Gengar's fine. I did not have any issues with Wormadam either. The reason why I picked these specific Pokemon Specifically, the correct answer to this question has some significance in relation to me. I personally would rank this answer as one of the worst shiny Pokemon of all time. And it is. Wormadam. Oh wait. You win, Toast. I won. <laughs> you win. Oh wait, I won. The answer was B, because that was the original. That was just regular Wormadam. And I've said this before, the real shiny is just a little bit blue on the top. Yeah, I was looking at the vine, but I just, I couldn't pick it out. Congratulations, Toast. It feels good. It feels real good. A deserved win, I'm gonna be honest. A little bit of luck, a little bit of luck thrown in there, but a deserved <laughs> win. You had some good outplays for some of my hard questions. I would like to thank everybody in the back. There is there is nobody in the back, unfortunately. Everybody back there, I see you. <laughs> Oh, very nice job, Toast. I was extremely nervous throughout the whole thing. Um, I, you know, I thought I was going to come back. I didn't, but you deserved it. You, you performed way better than I did. Aww. This quiz went a lot better for me than the last one. <laughs> you honestly yeah. were way, way too close for me. Toast, congrats. And everyone else, how did you do? Oh, and if you want this slideshow to share with friends or react to, I have the entire thing on my second channel in addition to the first quiz, so have fun with it. But... More importantly, Toast, what are you spending this money on?